Hi, David. Share, Natalie. How are you? Good, good. So we will be together for the UIC plenary to talk about the synodal journey, how it will change religious life, how religious life can contribute. So we will try to begin with some storytelling, our testimony, and also what we have seen, how uh, some uh, congregations have really changed through a synodal process. Then we will focus on the synodal journey as a transformative process of mutual transformation, personal and communal, on how it will change religious life. And we can say it's a path of conversion, a learning process to be a listening, learning church and community. And uh, synodal experience change religious life because it's a kind of a spiritual process through desolation and consolation, experience of discernment, praying, that really requires humility and openness to the movement of the spirit. And it's a call to work with people as brothers and sisters and really listening to them, you are transformed, especially when you are close to the most marginalized with this attitude of reciprocity, participation and trust. And uh, it's really a call to, for us to change the way to exercise the authority uh, in, with this style, that is a synodal style, to really empower uh, those uh, we are accompanying, to liberate their freedom. It requires a more collaborative and servant leadership that is a discerning leadership. Mm. Natalie, thank you for that introduction, but also thanks for the way that you model all of these things that you've just described, because in so many ways, that's the best thing we can offer is that uh, that example. And when we think about the contribution that religious life makes to the synodal journey and to the church, we reflect in particular on the way in which our charism, the original founding charisms of our congregations, shed light on a particular mission that each of us serve through our congregations and the way in which we use authority and the resources that are given to us by God for the service of that mission. In a sense, this is a very particular kind of contribution because the way of proceeding that each of our orders and congregations have discerned over the centuries is a particular gift from God for the church and is packed with learning around the experiences of process, of mutuality, of, of this, this kind of invitation to co-create and discern with God how to be in relationship to God's people. So our intention is to reflect both the ways in which the, the, the times that we're being called into, these, this prophetic call to synodality is in many ways also a call to conversion, but also a call to contribute, to contribute from the wisdom and the gifts and treasury of our traditions. We, uh, we look forward to being with you. We look forward to the conversation amongst us and between us and to the ways that the Spirit will reveal to us new things we can't even predict, which we know is also a part of this journey together. Uh, it will be a great time to continue our journey together to really be this new style of church, open and creative uh, with this ongoing style of discernment. So see you soon.